What's up, baby about penguins? Today we look at water potential. So water potential is going to be equal to the pressure potential plus the solute potential. Um, this little P right here stands for our pressure and the little S stands for solute. So I know that this is my pressure potential and this is my solute potential. Scientists are trying to determine under what conditions a plant can survive. They collect the following data and would like to know the water potential of the plant cell. The solute potential is 0.6 megapascals and the pressure potential is negative 1.0 megapascals. What is the water potential? So if we sub it into our equation, we know that our pressure potential is negative 1.0 megapascals and we know that our solute potential is negative 0.6 megapascals. We sub that in and we're going to get negative 1.6 megapascals, which is our water potential. Pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. And yes, I did make it a little bit harder. So plant cell with a solute potential of negative 7.5 bars, keeps a constant volume when immersed in an open beaker solution that has a solute potential of negative four bars. What is the cell's pressure potential? And so we first have to think about, well, what is this telling us? Like what values do I have? So I know that the water potential is equal to the pressure potential plus the solute potential. And I can go ahead and sub in the solute potential of this negative 7.5 bars. And so this is gonna be the water potential of my plant cell. Now, I need to also figure out the water potential of the surrounding solution, okay? Um, and so since it's an open beaker, there's gonna be no pressure potential. And so my water potential is equal to zero bars plus negative four bars, because the negative four bars is my solute potential that I was already given. So that tells me that since it's not gonna gain water, that these two formulas are gonna be equal to each other because this water potential should be the exact same. And so that tells me that I have my negative four bars from this, is going to be equal to my pressure potential plus the negative 7.5 bars that we had in this. So for the, the cell itself. OK, um, so if we move that negative 7.5 to the other side, the way that we do that is we add 7.5 to both sides. And that's going to give me positive 3.5 bars is equal to my pressure potential. Hope this is helpful. Remember, 8 5 Penguins just success by all.